Yo, what's going on, Turbo Speedsters? It's your boy, Coach Chris Turbo Burris, aka Mr. Turbo Speed, and I'm back with another Sprinter Speed training video. And today's topic, we'll be talking about bodybuilding for sprinters. Is it effective? Should you be doing it? What is it? And all the in-betweens and everything that you need to know so that you can incorporate this or take out this from your existing or new sprinter speed training programs. So let's go ahead and deep dive into this topic. As we get into this, you're gonna hear me using the term bodybuilding. I think there needs to be some defined terminology around uh, being a bodybuilder and bodybuilding. Those are two separate terminologies with two distinct definitions. So let's go ahead and tackle that and let's get into should sprinters bodybuild. So let's go ahead and define what bodybuilding is. In the traditional sense, bodybuilding is the act of manipulating resistance training protocols to induce hypertrophic results within specifically targeted muscle groups. So what that really means is that to be bodybuilding is to enact in any muscle building protocol that is going to elicit hypertrophy within your muscles. That's it. It's not the act of being a body builder who trains to build their body as huge as possible and as little as time as possible to be puffed up and adding on muscle mass. So there's two distinct differences. Bodybuilding, lifting weights to perform and elicit some type of hypertrophic effect Bodybuilder is someone who specific goal is to build as much muscle mass as possible. Two different things. All right, so now that we got the terminology out of the way, the difference between bodybuilding and a bodybuilder, let's talk about should sprinters bodybuild? And the answer is simple. Yes, sprinters must have a certain amount of muscle mass to optimize sprinter speed. That is proven fact. Research proves that athletes who have the highest degree of muscle mass in relation to their body weight have better sprint performances. The key to understand this is that yes, research proves that athletes who have the highest degree of muscle mass in relation to their body weight, that is relative force, mass specific force, your ability to generate a lot, massive amounts of force production relative to your body weight to propel yourself forward and vertically is what's needed to improve your sprinter speed performances. This is an amazing concept, but let's take it a step further. So why is this important to understand that you need a specific amount of muscle mass relative to your body weight? We know for a verifiable fact that the ideal muscle mass for sprinting and running is linked directly to the amount of ground reaction forces, GRF, which is required. The ideal sprinter, would be an individual who is as strong as absolutely possible in the leanest, the meanest, the greatest body. So you need to be absolutely strong, as strong as you physically can in your body, your vessel, in the leanest, healthiest, key, healthiest body that you can absolutely possess to be maximizing your sprinter speed performances. So let's break it down even further. So what does this mean exactly? Small muscles can't produce more power than larger muscles. This is a fact. Sprinters with ideal muscle mass will run faster. This is mass specific force or relative strength. Larger muscles are linked to producing more GRF, more ground reaction forces. This is the ground reaction forces that are gonna propel you horizontally and vertically to increase your sprinter speed. Lean muscle relative to body weight is optimal. This is, again, mass-specific force and relative strength. You want to be as strong as possible. You want to be in the leanest body possible. So what are the best practice for bodybuilding for sprinters? You need to train speed-centric hypertrophy in the off-season and general preparation phase. You need to maximize lean muscle mass with proper nutrition, diet, and sleep and you need to train absolute strength with hypertrophy using compound sets or um, supersets. 
the next thing you need to do is to actually implement the best periodization and programming best standards. So you want to use three to five sets at 60 to 75 percent of your one rep max from 12 to 15 reps per set and utilizing 30 through 60 seconds rest in between sets. All right, Turbo Speedsters, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I actually was able to shed some light and open your mind to the possibilities of why it's important for you as a sprinter to maximize your muscle mass, take care of your nutrition so that you can become the strongest person that you can be in your body, in your vessel, and the leanest that you can be in your body. Take care.